there, I'm La Carmina, fashion blogger and travel TV host, and this is A Day in My Life. I started my La Carmina fashion blog seven years ago. Initially, my focus was on Japanese street fashion. Now, I cover street style and culture worldwide, in books, on television, and in print. Every day in my life is a different mix of fashion, travel, and creativity. Today, I'm in Tokyo, working with Audigo, a new travel website that provides an insider's view of Japan. Audigo wanted me to scout out the cutest cafes, edgiest shopping, and craziest nightlife for their site. So, of course, I started at the Pokemon Cafe. Every dish was made to look like a Pokemon character. Where else can you put on Pokemon ears at the entrance and get dessert served in a smoking Whoa. Pokeball? <gasps> Next, I headed to Harajuku for some shopping. A fashion blogger's life might look like it's just all fun, but in fact, there's a lot of hard work going on behind the scenes. My film team is constantly shooting videos and taking photos, and that's what you see on my site and in my social media. Harajuku is the epicenter of Tokyo cool and avant-garde fashion, like at this punk boutique, Dog. There's so much inspiration here. I love seeing how the girls coordinate their outfits with colors and layers, and even a stuffed toy. I grabbed a late lunch at the Pom Pom Purin Cafe for another round of adorable themed foods. They're decorated to look like the cute yellow puppy, who is part of the Hello Kitty family. I headed to Odaiba, home to the giant Gundam robot, and a mall filled with the cutest shops you've ever seen. Fun fact, I am a huge video game fan, so I love getting lost amongst the games in Odaiba's immense arcade. I angels, the songs. I After that, it was time for dinner at Rapongi's Hassan restaurant. We had the best shabu shabu ever. There was fresh crab, all-you-can-eat Kobe beef, and our own personal sushi chef. I was stuffed, but nightlife awaited, and Tokyo's bar and club scene is not to be missed. I had the honor of hosting Odigo's launch party. It was great to reconnect with all my old friends and meet some new ones as well. I'm excited to see the startup grow, and I'm sure it will help a lot of people who want to travel to Japan. After the party, I stopped for a drink at Cambiare Bar, decorated to look like a set from Dario Argento's classic horror movie, Suspiria. The bar is in the middle of Golden Guy, a neighborhood of tiny bars dating back decades. I stopped to visit my friend Mistress Maya at Sudoi Bar, and then I was ready to get my dance on. So I hopped over to an 80s party at Deca Bar Z. There's no better place to get fashion inspiration. Light, 